Medicare doesn't make any sense. And here at Healthcare Solutions Direct, our goal is to keep this as simple as one, two, three. Once in a while, our agents will get phone calls about the Medigap pricing methods. They'll be asked, what does this Medigap supplement company use for their pricing method? So let's discuss this so that you have a little bit better understanding. There are three ways that Medigap supplement plans determine how it's going to charge the monthly premium. You have attain age rated, you have issue age rated, and you have community rated. When thinking about attained age rated, issue age rated, and community rated, there's something to keep in mind. The top rated companies are in the business to keep their customers. They'll be very careful to keep the rate increases acceptable so their current customers are happy with their decision and choosing them for coverage. So regardless of what pricing method the Medigap supplement company is using, first thing I want you to understand is they will all have rate increases as someone gets older based on changes to Medicare, healthcare inflation, as well as other factors. So let's look right now at attained age rated. This is what most Medigap supplement companies will use for their pricing method. This pricing method is based on the current attained age of the individual and will continue to increase as the individual gets older. These premiums tend to be lower for the individual when they first enroll at a younger age. Those that are older will pay more under this pricing, pricing method. Under this pricing model, the person will start out with a lower premium than the other two pricing methods, which may or may not benefit the policy over time, policyholder over time. Let's discuss issue age rated. This pricing method is the most misunderstood and sometimes extremely misleading. This pricing method is based on the age when the individual was first issued the coverage and the premium will not increase based on age as the individual gets older like that of an attained age rated. The premium can only be increased if the insurance company decides to raise rates for everyone in that state. This rating is different than attained age rating because the monthly premium is typically higher in the beginning than that of an attained age rated policy. So again, under attained age rated, the premium is lower. Under an issue age rated policy, the premium is typically higher. Since age will not be a factor, the insurance companies will typically charge more at the very beginning, which again may or, not, may, or may not benefit the policyholder over time. There are some states that encourage every company to adopt this pricing model. The states where you will see this pricing model, the most predominant one, are as follows. Arizona, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Missouri, and New Hampshire. Let's talk about the last rating. It's the community rated model. This pricing method is the least offered of the three pricing methods. It's sometimes referred to as the no age rated pricing model. With this pricing model, all policyholders in that area will pay the exact same premium regardless of their age. See, if someone purchases a community rated policy when they are older, this could be an attractive model. They will pay the same price as someone that's 65 years old. Since age will not be a factor like that of issue age, the premium can only be increased if the insurance company decides to raise rates for everyone in that state, which again may or may not benefit that policyholder over time. There are some states that encourage every company to adopt this pricing model. The states where you're going to see this pricing model, the most predominant one is the one are these as follows: Arkansas, Connecticut, Maine, Massachusetts, Minnesota, New York, Vermont, and Washington State. One thing to keep in mind when you're looking at the Medigap pricing models, whether it's attained age, it's issue age, or community rated, the one thing to always keep in mind is that all Medigap supplement companies will increase premiums over time. So regardless of which pricing model you end up going with, remember, you will have price increases as you get older.